Hey, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is my YouTube channel, Deer Meat for Dinner. We're out on the ranch right now. Got my little brother up on the buggy. His name's Blue Gabe. Got his two little boys, Luke and Jake. See that little hog over there? You want to aim right behind that front shoulder? Pretty much exactly right there. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be turkey hunting with bow and arrow. If you're going to shoot a turkey with a bow and arrow, this is where you want to aim. Right there. You hit him right there, you won't have to trail him far. Just try to kill. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me see that setup. What is it? Oh, that's an eight. That's an eight, son. What you think about that, Lukey? Good. Hey, redneck. What do you think about it, huh? That ain't, that ain't no squirrel up there, son. What are you doing? For those of you who are not involved with making YouTube videos, you would never understand how difficult drones are. See that? That's Jordy. He's playing with a drone right now. It's like drones are a constant nemesis. But I do love the look of a drone shot, especially a good drone shot. And uh, who knows? That's that. We heading to the woods, y'all. going down. The wind is out of the southeast. That's perfect. That's probably my all-time worst miss with a bow and arrow. Ladies and gentlemen, someone should cut my shirt tail right now. That was as bad as it gets. Don't ask me what happened, because I have no clue. I have no clue. All right, you guys, so that, in all honesty, that was the worst archery miss I've had maybe in my life. But the stun is going down. We got about a mile ride. We're gonna go try to check one more spot. You see her go, throw her head up. I'm like, you better shoot right now. 
You never know what a wild boar is going to do, but that's a perfect, that's a perfect eating hog. I miss one at 20 yards and I hit one at 37. Oh yeah, boys. Here we go. This is one thing really nice about these nocturnals. You can find your arrow. Now we'll go get the hog. Dan, see that right there, y'all? That's called the Rage NC, hypodermic NC. See that? Pops right back in place. No collar. If you're an archery hunter, Rage. I'm telling you right now, that is the broadhead. That right there is perfect. Perfect hog to eat. About a 40 pounder. I mean, it don't get no better than that. We're gonna take it back to camp. And if you wanna watch the video of me processing this, this hog, there will be a link in the description below. I know there's a lot of craziness going in the world right now, and I don't wanna push any buttons and I don't wanna get in any trouble. So I'm gonna make this a video in the description below. So if you wanna watch it, check it out. I'll be using my old Silver Stag Woods and Water. If not, I'll see you in the kitchen. That was awesome yesterday afternoon. Now, over here at my buddy Joey Haluska's house. Watch out, sweetheart. And we're gonna grill this hog. Get this thing started, let our coals get all good, then we're gonna season up this meat. It's a perfect situation. The fire's getting right. I'm getting hungry. We got a nice hog here to clean. Take some olive oil. And what you doing, baby? Pepper. And pepper and salt. 
and salt and pepper. That's right. Take your hands. My hands are clean. Just get in here. Start off with nice kosher salt. Fresh cracked pepper. I like to use, I open this up as big as possible so you get nice big fat chunks of pepper in there. I think grilled food tastes so much better with pepper. Now we'll take some original Everglades. Season that up. And lastly, this is uh, some kind of chicken rub, but man, I love the way it smells. So we'll just put a little of that on there as well. Moving out our, our coals, evening them out. Next, that's a little piece of buttonwood. The only place I know this grows is in the Bahamas. This wood, it's called buttonwood. It's like remarkably, remarkably hard. See how it breaks like concrete? Hey! That is gonna add the most wonderful flavor to this meat. There we go. Look at that. We're gonna start skin side down, meat side down. Just like that. And then. On the grill. Now we're going to shut this and baffle it. We're just going to let a little air flood through here. Slow it down. When you reduce the, the amount of air, that's going to reduce how fast it burns. It's going to create some really nice smoke. We're going to slow cook this thing. To say my mouth is watering is an understatement. Look at that love and goodness right there. I'm just going to try to make sure that I don't drop him on the deck. Beautiful half a hog. Don't want to overcook them now. I'm going to leave this one on while we're doing that. So I'm going to check this thing. Yo, that's hot. There's one of them shoulders. Look how pretty that is. Man. That's that back strap. Let's just cut right down there. Just all comes off. Cut it in nice pieces. That is so moist, so juicy. Mmm. What? I want you to taste this. What is it? Some of that pig that I got yesterday. And what does it taste like? It tastes like wild pig. Good. On that piece. Second bite knows you've got a winner. Anytime your three-year-old is happy about eating wild game, makes for a happy dad. Mm. All right, you guys. Let me finish boning this all out. I'm gonna put it in this pan. And I'll show you what we're gonna do next. You guys, this is Mr. Wendell. Wendell, how long you been work? You and Joey been working together. He started out here when he was 16 years old. Golly. He's 43 now, 44. Okay. That is some good stuff. Uh... <laughs> now, hmm? just put a little bit of that on there. I don't like that on mine. Yeah. Here, here are you. Oh, that. Oh yeah. Grab me some of that, honey. So, I don't know. I'm sorry we didn't film all of this, but we just devoured all of that hog. We picked off every single piece, and these little ribs 
They look like they have nothing on them, but guess what? They're full of love and goodness. Now, there's a young man up front. He's been working and he's watching some of our videos. So I'm gonna make him a plate of some of this love and goodness and take it up to him. Reminds me of that Alan Jackson song. Straighten up, girl, you're doing just fine. Watch this. What's up, my man? When was the last time you was on YouTube? Never. What's your name? Christian. Hey, Kristen? Christian. Christian? Here, buddy. Food for you. Appreciate it. Now, look, I want to. Have you ever eaten wild hog before? I want you to taste it and tell me what you think. We've been roasting that all day. Yeah. It's good. Isn't it? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 20. Where are you from? Uh, I'm Indian sweet. town. Oh, right on. My mom was born and raised I'm in Indian sweet. town. I'm well, look, you guys. I appreciate it. You enjoy that? Them ribs are real good, man. They're like crispy. They're real, real good. Here comes Joey right here. But uh, this is my daughter. I appreciate you watching the channel and helping everybody out here. Christian is actually out here. He's stopping people as they come in and out, asking them, making sure everyone's social distancing, <laughs> making sure everybody is paying attention and doing their best not to spread this COVID-19. But uh, this is what life is all about. I've got a few other people I want to give some meat to, and uh, that's all I got for you today. Appreciate you being a part of our channel and a part of our lives. Take care, stay safe, God bless, and say it, are you? <laughs>